Hello again, and this is Teacher Kent. Today we're coming at you with another study tip. Uh, this is based on 30 minutes I always recommend to my students. 30 minutes before bedtime, you should always sleep. i uh, sorry, 30 minutes before you go to sleep, you should always study. And what you study helps uh, consolidate during your sleeping time. So it's important that it lasts 25 minutes or so before you sleep. Uh, so, for example, I'll show you here. This is a Harvard study actually just done this year, I think, uh, June of this year, June of 2022. But over 10 years now, they've been studying this habit of what happens to our brains. So still, a lot of people don't know, don't understand what's happening during sleep. But one thing they've kind of figured out, lots of scientists at Harvard or Brown University or different universities around America, Notre Dame, uh, I think had a... 10, 10 years ago in 2012, they had a study on this. So what's basically happening is while you're sleeping, just before you sleep, you should do some action. Uh, they train mice, for example, to do some action, like the mice or the animals would run around this maze and try to find their cheese. And then they would let them sleep. And during the sleeping time, they'd replay that action in their head. And they'd replay it and replay it and replay it. I think up to 20 times, they'd replay it. And what they're trying to do in the mice, what the mice are trying to do is take the short-term memory, put it into long-form memory, basically consolidate that memory so that they'll remember it better. What they realize over the last 10 years of studying these animals and now they're studying the humans is that whatever you do just before your bedtime, for example, you practice playing the piano or if you practice speaking English or if you read a book and then go to sleep, your short-term memory, boom, is trying to connect to your long-term memory. And especially it's happening, which is interesting, is not during REM sleep. REM sleep, REM, rapid eye movement, it happens uh, when you dream. When you dream is when your eyes are moving rapidly. So non-rapid eye movement, non-REM, is actually when your memory is getting consolidated. So between your dreams is when your memory is like, hey, what did we learn today? Ah, uh, yeah, we learned how to drive a car today. Oh, okay. Or we learned how to do adjectives in English. Okay. Boom. It's putting. So to uh, help you along that path to consolidate your memory into long-form memory, long-term memory, of course, whatever you do, 25 minutes before you sleep is very useful. 25 to 30 minutes before you sleep. So please do that every day. And again, give us a like on these videos to know that you're enjoying them. And we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Thank you. Have a good day.